Welcome to OMG Old Man Golf. We got the top 10 differences between the US and German golf. This is Trey with OMG Old Man Golf. As many of you know, I am a native Texan. Lived there all my life, but uh, for the last year and a half, I've been living in Northern Germany, Lower Saxony, city called Sella, beautiful little city. Um, I'm an avid golfer. I love golf. And so a lot of people ask me, what are the differences between golf in America and golf in Germany. So here are the top 10 differences. Number 10, the Anthony Hopkins, Houston, Texas. Winter greens, because I'm so far north, I'm from Houston, Texas, so I'm used to warm weather. But the winters here can be cold and icy. And so they, they put in temporary greens so that you can keep playing golf in the winter. Otherwise, you would uh, you could do nothing most of the time. So, winter greens, I would say, is the number 10 difference. Number 9, Drew Brees, New Orleans Saints. Ring the bell. There'll be holes that'll have a dog leg. And as you get around the dog leg, you ring a bell to notify the player behind you that it's safe for them to hit. I hear these bells ringing everywhere. It was uh, something to get used to, but ring the bell comes in at number nine. Number eight, from the big red Cincinnati machine, Joe Morgan. Hydration. Germany has a much milder climate than what I'm accustomed to in Houston. So they really don't have water or water stations on the golf course. In fact, here in Sella, that little spigot over there is the only source of water on all 18 holes. So basically, it's bring your own water or bring your own hydration. Number seven, Hall of Famer, Craig Biggio. Number seven, the tournaments are men and women combined based on handicap, usually Stapleford, unless you're below a 15 handicap and then it's placed on stroke play. These tournaments um, are quite competitive and it's men and women playing against each other based on handicaps from the respective tees. Um, it's, it's not like America where the only time you play with the women is if it's a scramble or some kind of team event. Um, and I think that leads to number six. Number six, Julius Irving, a.k.a. Dr. J is that a lot of times here in Germany the lady is the better player in the in the family um, you know I, I think in the States you may find that that's the case uh, one out of 15 or something where here in Germany it's probably two out of five times that the lady is the better player in the house number five Albert Pujols Number five, the golf here is cheap and the members get mad at me when I say that, but my fees for the whole year are like $1,200. Now, I don't get free range balls and I don't get a free cart and the service level is much lower, but my bill at Raveno usually was somewhere around that much every single month. Now that had some beer and some food in it, but it is very inexpensive to play golf here in Germany. Number four, wild man, Brett Favre. Golf is hard to watch on TV. You don't see, you can't find the majors. You have to have this channel called Sky Sports and it uh, isn't offered in a lot of places. You, if you try to go to, you try to go find the masters on TV somewhere and sports bar after sports bar in town had football on soccer because uh, golf just really isn't that popular number three the babe babe Ruth number three maximum handicap in the US is 36 but here in Germany and I don't know if it's all across Europe but it's 54 and as a as an 18 there's times where I'm giving up two strokes to people on every hole. And it's just nuts. 
Now, I know there's some people that used to play golf with me uh, that, are, that think that that's just karma and funny, but uh, it's hard playing somebody when you're giving them two strokes every hole. And, and Number two, the greatest horse of all times, Secretariat. Drinking on the course, number two. I've never seen anybody have a beer on the course, which is very surprising because... I almost never see someone not have a beer in the course in the U.S. And they love their beer here, but uh, that's just not something that happens. Number one, the one and only Evil Knievel. Number one, the number one difference. And it is the my favorite thing about German golf and, and Everyone should adopt this, and it's the rules around birdies and ladies. So a birdie is obviously you make a birdie, and when you do so, everyone in your group, you buy a beer to celebrate your accomplishment. And if you mess up your drive and you don't hit it by the ladies' tee, that's called a lady, and you buy everybody in the group a beer. It's a, a nice way to, uh, you know, celebrate and... Uh, get penalized and rassed a little bit for having a lady but uh, it's all in good 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 uh, companionship and I think those are the best rules I I, I think that that uh, I'm, I'm trying to sell all my friends in the US to, to start playing birdies and ladies because it uh, it really makes for a nice time bonus item here the difference between push carts and golf carts one last item that I forgot, and that's using a golf cart. They do not use a golf cart here. If you use a golf cart, you almost have to have a note from your doctor saying you need to. They uh, will make fun of you. I, I, I had some people in from the U.S. and I got carts for us because that's a customary thing. And, and uh, the lady at the course told me that it made me look old. <laughs> so no one, almost no one has a golf cart unless you are... Uh, in need of it for you know physical medical reasons but they will pay huge money for the top of the line pull cart that is titanium titan uh, lithium batteries remote control follows you um, they, they paid six thousand dollars for a for a pull for a pull cart to have the top of the line one which if I'm gonna pay six thousand dollars it's gonna haul my butt I ain't pushing nothing. So, those are my top 10 differences between Germany and America golf. If you have some more that you think are uh, you'd like to share, put them in the comments. Let me know. But uh, all in all, I'm enjoying German golf. I enjoy America golf. I enjoy golf. And it's the same game here and it's the same game there. But there are differences. And I think we can learn from each other. I think the birdies and ladies are fantastic. I think that the, the men and the women playing the tournaments together is, is really good for, the, for ladies golf and, and good for golf in general. And um, I think we should, we should adopt those two things. Birdies, ladies, mixed uh, tournaments. It's in the best name of the game. So let me know what you think. This is Trey with Old Man Gone. Hit him straight, plan, execute the plan, and achieve. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, check out more content on OMG Old Man Golf.